I think there might be a number of you young people watching this. So I want to say to you, you need to get yourselves together and start praying. When you people are in your home groups, start prayer meeting in there. Not a full prayer meeting perhaps, but have a good, at least a third of the time in prayer in your home groups. That's what I used to do when I used to have a home group. And it really worked well. And then people learn to pray. There's nothing hard about praying. It's just talking to God. And even just, yeah, just saying things that you're, you'd like to see happen, that you, would, you were praying for each other, praying for individuals, um, whatever. Um, yeah, and, and so make prayer a part of your life. And while you're at home, just keep, uh, when you're home, or when you're at work, or whenever a difficult situation comes up, pray about it. Lift it to the Lord and say, Lord, help me with this. I can't understand this, Father, but can you show me what's the answer for this? How I'm going to do this, how I'm going to do that? Forgive me, Lord, for being cross with some of these people that I'm working with or whatever. There's so many things that are best brought out and said rather than just kept bottled up inside. You need to start to pray. When, when I'm gone and our older people are gone, we need you, the other ones, you've got to come and fill that gap. You've got to make a step up and take the place of some of us that have, have, have um, done it for so long. And we need you. I love to see young people coming to the prayer meetings at church. I, I can get even, I'm a bit motherly, I watch over them and I check them out at church and think, oh, where was he last week? I didn't see him there. What's happening over there? Stuff like that. Okay? I look forward to seeing you at prayer meetings. It's Wednesday morning, quarter to seven, in church. Yay. Bless you. All my kids are still walking with the Lord and they had me as their mother whipping them around so I can whip you around too. See ya. <laughs> oh, um, Jane, yes. tell me, tell me um, one instance of an answered prayer. Yes. Well, I live in a village for over 55, people over 55 years of age. I'm only just there myself, of course. <laughs> um, and one of the ladies, a couple of doors down from me, is very frail and very, very thin. And as, as the days got colder and colder, her heat, heat pump wasn't working properly. So she was very distressed. And several days she'd been ringing up these, the heat pump people and they never came. And so she was so upset. I said, would you mind if I pray with you about this? And she said, that's fine. So I prayed and just asked God to really waken these fellows up that they would come and fix this heat pump so she could keep warm. And she rang me up about a quarter of an hour later or less and said, Jane, they're coming, your prayer's been answered. And I said, of course it has. <laughs> That's a wrap for this week's Sunday Lunch. Thank you so much for being with us. Until next time, Kaki Tiano.